Morning. Morning. I think I forgot my jack. Yeah, you're gonna want one this morning. Yeah, I think I've got one here. Last night we got into the corn. We took out our first three loads of corn of the year. It's definitely yielding terribly, which was expected with having almost no rain all summer. Um, we're in a field where it's not, not knocked down as badly as it is here at home, but we have not started up the grain dryer or the pits yet at all. So we're gonna work on starting those up this morning and making sure everything is running good. And then the plan is to get going on corn heavy today before we switch back to beans. The reason we're doing that is because we had a couple days of rain and now the beans are not ready to go anymore. So we're switching it up a little bit. Well, I can hear the first little bit coming down into the dryer, which is good. The dryer gets priority fed once that is full. It overflows into the wet tank. It must be set right. That must be. It looks good. It appears as though one of the rings that we had installed has a leak, which means I get to go for a field trip. I believe. Well, I know this ring is our culprit. But it's coming out back here as well. I love hikes. I love them. I don't know why it's coming from back here, but it's pushing its way around, and this is where the grain is getting out at. And it would be enough to make a mess. Luckily, I brought some adhesive weld with. And uh, we're going to patch this up right, the way the cavemen did it. I really want to lean on this railing behind me, but I really don't want it to give out. Because I'd have a lot of time to think about that landing. Yeah, I don't know exactly why it's doing it, but I can put a band-aid over the issue. Seems like it, but I don't know. It almost seems like the the spout pulled apart a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to stuff that opening full of duct tape. And it'll last a couple days anyway, I would think. It's windier up here than it is down there. I would say you could start it up and see. That's how you fix things on the farm. I think I fixed it. I could have been a millwright guy. Those three guys are gonna head out to the field and get going, start bringing corn back for me. In the meantime, now that the dryer is almost full, I'm gonna start it up and see what kind of bugs we gotta work through. Hey. Oh, you want to come see me, but you can't walk on the grate, huh? So I did take a little bit out of the wet bin to finish filling the dryer, but now it's full and that kicked out. Everything is, seems to be working correctly. At least as far as the load goes. So now I'm going to turn that automatic part off. Off. There. So that I can start the dryer and only hear that. But first, maybe I'll make sure the bin we want to go into looks good. Are you ladies looking for mice? I saw one back here earlier, but you weren't quick enough. There are mice underneath the conveyor. I can tell because of Didge's attitude. Go get it, Didge, go get it. Okay, yeah. We need to, I need to, move that. This slide here doesn't move. It's like stuck partially open. And I got a little spot in the floor that gave up. You know what, before I work too hard on that, I'm gonna get the dryer going so that we have dry corn to put in there by the time that bin is going. So, fan one. I hear it. Fan two. 
Those are some big fans of ours. Big fans. Let's turn the heat up. Seems like everything's going good. Let's try this again. I don't know if that's gonna pull that up the way I need it to. Mm, boy. <coughs> Maybe if I get that one out of the way. <coughs> well, I didn't really get it, but I did waste an impressive amount of screws and run out of patience. So, on to the next project. You guys can't see it, but there's a bolt that screws into a locking collar down here to hold this in place so that it holds onto the shaft when it slides in and out. It's the same thing every time. It's just a very unfortunate design. I don't know how, I, I fix like eight of them a year. It never ends. I have made the very easy decision to quit screwing around with this bin and just put corn in a different grain bin for now. Bin's ready. Well, never mind. I was going to start unloading, but there's a fault status. Vapor number two is overheating and it won't let me restart anything. It's done it a couple times now. I guess this is why we started early and decided to jump from beans to corn just to take some acres out to work these kinds of bugs out. I'm going to let it cool down while I run these. Uh, let's see. Into the wet bin. Because in the meantime, Alan came back with a truck and filled the pit. There's all kinds of stuff going on. There's one more load in the pits. I got one adjusted down. I'm going to see if it can handle both of them at once. Sounds like we got to turn our vaporizers down on the dryer because it's fairly warm weather out here. So we'll do that. And I should just need to spin it out, but I don't know how much. We're going to start with a half a turn. Wait. Nope. There's more to it than that. Okay. I guess I'll just start taking stuff apart. What's the worst that could happen? I fall, plummet to my death. That'd be one of them. Now I understand, that's just a jam nut. Pull it out an inch or two. All right, all right, I got you. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's start up the noise maker. Make sure things are moving. Whoops, hit the wrong one. this week and if you've watched my videos in the past or you're a farmer you know that soybeans will take on the moisture that's the reason why we switched over to corn to get some of that done 
Well, the soybeans dried out. We've got a really good drying day going here again, so I think we'll get everything ready to go for soybeans, but at least we got our soft start going in corn. That's gonna help a lot for later when it comes time to really get going on corn. Oh, also, almost forgot to mention, we're gonna be trying out a new Honeybee SDX Airflex header here for a few days. See what we think of that. Almost missed that one. But that's not gonna happen today. You're gonna have to tune in at a different time to see that. For today, I'm still just gonna be running this old wrinkly John Deere 740 FD with the Crary wind system on it. You know, it's, it's not really actually that wrinkly. Uphill. I'm gonna take one last look here at everything before I take off. I'm literally going just right down to the end of the driveway. So I'll be right close by, but I need to make sure everything's going good. Test the moisture coming out the back, to make sure it's safe here without me. Everything looks good right now. Out. It's starting to get a little bit narrow through this part of the driveway. I either need a smaller header or a chainsaw. We'll go with a chainsaw. Huh. It's even kind of narrow down this part of the driveway. Gee, I hope I didn't knock over any of that corn. Separator engage failure because I forgot to open covers again. Do you have any left in the cart or in the other truck? Well, I forget that there. like every time on this new machine. Okay. Not the used to that. The truck won't be too full either, will it? Unless you run into some real good corn. Let's try it again. Probably. Now we're yeah. moving. 20 yeah. I would think for sure. Mike and Aaron from Our Wyoming Life sent me some beef jerky sticks here. Pretty good stuff. Check them out on YouTube. Our Wyoming Life. Pretty good stuff. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you probably had me. Just got going on the beans across across from the house here. They're definitely plenty dry. You want me just to bring a truck out into the field and fill it on my own for a while? Well, all I heard was that can't hear me, too far away. I about got a full hopper now and I saw the school bus go by and Isla was giving a pretty good wave so I'm thinking she might need a combine ride and I need a truck anyway. Hoofing it. Well, I thought I had a little girl to pick up but I found out that Isla was staying on the bus to continue on and go to a friend's house so I didn't get Isla, but I did get out of my big sweaty boots, changed into some wore out tennis shoes because it's too hot out for boots right now. Back to work. This is a really inconsistent field when it comes to soil types. You can see here the beans, they don't look too bad. But then you look at strips like this and I know there's a good hill up here where they're gonna be pretty poor. Overall the bushels are reading fairly low, which is to be expected, but I also know this is not programmed correctly yet. And I've only myself gotten a few hours in this machine this year. I, I, haven't, I haven't even looked up how to program it. We've been taking everything to town, so I know what it weighs we know what we're yielding, but I just haven't bothered to program it correctly on the on the monitor here. I know it's off, it's 20% low, according to the elevator, which still makes it a, a bad yield. There's some good soybeans right there. They, they gotta be like four to six inches tall. You can see the Crary wind system blowing them all in, so they're still feeding in. 
but even if you look up here at 1.5 bushels per acre oh zero hmm I mean even if you take zero bushels per acre and add 20% to it it's a pretty poor yield I've been running for a little while now got one truck full Alan took off with that and left me another empty but I figured I'd hop out see what kind of job it's doing it's really clean, nice in the tank, so I'll check the ground here, make sure we're not blowing any over, but it was working pretty good earlier. Looks to me like everything's running really good. I'd say both the combine and header are both doing a really nice job right now. It's a little bit boring out here right now because we only got one machine going here in poor beans. I'm dumping into the trucks myself. Everybody else is harvesting corn five miles that way. So it's just kind of slow going. But in the next video, the plan is for tomorrow to have both combines over switched over to beans. We're going to have this machine out here. We're going to have the 9870 with that Honeybee SDX Airflex head on it. And we're going to be out here kind of comparing the two and seeing what, what we like on that Honeybee header. And then things should be a lot busier. We'll have the grain cart running. We'll have trucks going in and out. We'll have two machines going. It's just going to be uh, a lot more action, a little less talk, and a lot more action. I doubt I'll get that lucky. That's a beautiful sunset. I don't think the camera does it justice, but it's been a little while now, so I'm just going to walk back up the yard here and check on the grain dryer, make sure everything's running good. I can see here on my Inno Pro cameras I got from Dakota Micro that things seem to be moving fine, but it's always good to check anyway. Especially since I really don't trust the moisture tester, the moisture, moisture tester on that dryer. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. All right. Thank you. No death. Moisture is about 15 and a half percent, which is going to be good, maybe 16, which is going to be good because then it'll dry down just a little bit more in the bins. Yeah, we got the we got the fancy moisture tester right here, but apparently there's an internal error and we got to call technical support. I got enough going on today. I'm not worried about technical support on the old Dickie John tester. Everything seems to be going good. I'm going to go get the girls and bring them to the combine. Pretty sure Anna wants to take a ride with you girls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Heads up, Anna. Is she spraying mud everywhere? Rocks. She's kicking oh. up rocks. She's got a lot of traction. Don't care about them, but don't run them over. Oh no. Wash out for them. They've got 20 minutes before bedtime. Rhiannon had to pack a backpack. It's got candy in it. It's got candy in it? Well, then I'm sorry I made fun of it. You saw me talking to yeah, someone? Yeah, you got out of the tractor and then I saw you talking to it. Oh, yeah. That's when I was waving. I saw you waving. Oh, that's going fast. Pretty fast, huh? I never knew they went that fast. Oh, it no, always looks faster at night for some reason. That's weird. Oh, got to turn my auto track on. What's auto track? So then it drives itself. Because I'm a millennial and I can't I can't farm without a machine that doesn't drive itself. It's going That's what they say. It. Some people don't have any corn. It's like, it's like as short as these. Isn't yeah, it like, fell down, huh? It's all like fluffy and like getting off. It's dust. No, in, in the, the middle on the ground. In the middle on the ground. What do your girls think of your first combine ride of the year? Uh, Thumbs up? Uh, Amazing. Now it's bedtime, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's so early. Kind of. Bedtime 8 o'clock. 8.30. Don't be stretching it for the viewers. Feet? We give you until 8.30. Are these the pedals or for your kids? That's right. They're like, uh, they're like motorcycle pegs. It's just yeah. kind of chill. They're pedals? Well. They're not really pedals because they don't do anything. 
I got you. You got my water. Oh, you got a backpack on. It's not heavy, babe. No, it's not heavy, but I wasn't expecting it when I grabbed you. Thanks for riding with me, girls. Looks like I'm picking up another stray. Hey, dude. Hey. I gotta remember how to turn the lights on and off in one of these. There we go. I'm guessing the camera doesn't do it justice, but that's an impressive moon right there. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll check the dryer and go home now. <laughs> <laughs>